Welcome to the Alpha Girl Confidence Podcast, where we are empowering youth female athletes to play and live confidently. My name is Shay Hatto, and each week I will bring you new episodes to teach you the strategies and tools that you need in order to live a confident, empowered life both on and off the playing field. Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the show. So on today's episode, I'm going to teach you what to do after you get benched. And I'm not just talking about getting benched because it's your rotation or because you were tired or it was just part of the thing, but I'm talking about when you get benched because you made a mistake or your coach is mad at you or you were slacking or something bad, right? So what happens when you get benched, right? And I'm sure you've been benched like that before. I know I've been benched like that probably a million times and it's not fun. And I never knew what to do in those situations. So I hope that you don't get benched, but I'm sure there's going to be a time where you get benched, like really benched. All right. So I'm going to teach you what to do when that situation comes. Because to be honest, a lot of times when you get benched, you're pissed off, your coach is mad, you're just huffing and puffing, you're thinking about the negative, you're not thinking about what you can do to get better, you're just upset, right? And you're not engaged and it's not helping you in any way, shape or form. I've been there, I've done that and I don't recommend it. All right, so here's what you need to do after you get benched. Number one, right? When you get called out and you can see and you know that it's not a good kind of bench, right? First thing is ask your coach for feedback, right? Especially if you don't know what you did. If you know what you did, if you know you were being lazy and you know like that you just need to pick it up, you don't need to ask your coach for feedback because that's not, just don't do that. But if you don't know what you did, if you need feedback, if you want to get better when you step back onto the field, ask for feedback, right? But you really have to make it known that you want the feedback and you want to get better so that next time you step on the field, you can do better. So really pay attention when you're asking your coach for feedback, what your tone of voice is like, right? Don't just come at your coach, say, coach, why'd you bench me? What can I do? That's not going to work. Just like, coach, I'm sorry, don't apologize. But say, coach, what can I do next time I get back on the field to do better? Or coach, can you please explain to me what I did wrong? Right, so ask your coach, okay, feedback. Okay, and then number two is to focus on your breathing. Okay, so the reason why you wanna focus on your breathing is because a lot of times when you come off, number one, your heart rate's gonna be elevated because you just came off the field, you're going to be huffing and puffing probably because you're a little bit upset and that's fine. So when you focus on your breathing, you're going to bring your heart rate back down. You're going to bring yourself back to center and you're not going to be all hyped up, right? You want to kind of bring it back down to level so you can learn from this situation and stay engaged. Okay. So focus on your breathing, nice and slow, slow it down, really focus on deep, deep breaths, not just with your chest, but through your belly. Okay, just do like three of those deep breaths and then calm yourself down a little bit. And then from there, it's like just stay engaged and involved in the game, right? Don't be thinking about all the stuff that went wrong. That's not really going to serve you, right? Obviously be thinking about the feedback your coach gave you, but I want you to stay engaged in the game, right? So pay attention to what's going on. Pay attention to the flow of the game. Pay attention to what your coach is coaching your other teammates right? Cheer for your team. Get excited when they do well, right? Don't get stuck in your own head because when you get stuck in your own head and you go back on the field, you're going to be lost, right? And number two with that is if you're stuck in your own head, you're not supporting your teammates. You're not being a good teammate. I've done that before and I deeply regretted it. So stay engaged in the game. So number one, that you can step back onto the field strong and feel the flow of the game. Number two, just so that you can be a good teammate, right? So back, rewind kind of all the three things to do when you get benched. Number one is to ask for feedback if you need it. Number two is to focus on your breath, slow your breath down and get nice and relaxed. And number three is to stay engaged in the game, stay involved, be a good teammate, right? So those are the three things. Make sure that I hope this doesn't happen to you anytime soon, but if and when this happens to you, Make sure you do these three things and you'll be able to step back onto the field stronger than you did before. All right, I hope this helped you out. If it did, 
please share it with a friend. If you need any additional help or have questions, anything I can help you with, I would love to help. Please send me a DM on Instagram at Shay Haddo, or you can find me on the website at alphagirlconfidence.com. And I'd love to chat. All right. Thanks for listening. And I'll catch you on next week's episode.